You know, I've been on this website for quite some time now, and I never thought, you know, out of all the things, out of all the things I've done over the years, I've made, I never thought that after, you know, I found this niche, this thing that I like passionately, like making and, and, and other people seem to responding to, I never thought I'd find myself doing another tag video. But I'm gonna let it slide. You know, I did the Pokemon tag last year with Ricky Pointer. I'm gonna let this one slide because it's the VIP tag. And, and I'm a VIP, right? I'm a, I'm a visually impaired person. It's true. In all seriousness, hey everyone, James Rath here. So this week I'm doing the VIP tag. Uh, I was tagged by my friend Emily Davidson, fellow blind YouTuber from the UK. Haven't actually met before, but we, we, we connect. Internet provides community. It's a cool thing. It's a cool thing. If you've never heard of the internet, uh, check it out. I'm gonna jump right into this. There's about 10 questions. Question number one, I'm gonna let my phone read this to me. One. What medical condition caused you to be blind or visually impaired? It's gonna be called ocular albinism. So technically, yes, uh, if you wanna call me, I'm albino. Uh, not really, I mean, I do have a lack of pigment in my skin and my hair, but I do have a little bit more pigment than other people with albinism have. That's because, again, I have ocular albinism where it's more affected within the eyes, and not the skin, not the hair, but it's still affected there. I can't go tanning, I can't sit out in the sun long. I would probably be a brunette right now, probably have like brown, dark hair if if I didn't have albinism. Blonde's cool though, I'll take it. So beyond the albinism, I also have nystagmus, which uh, is where the eyes constantly move back and forth. Um, with the albinism, I have light sensitivity. I have a giant white blaring light on me. It actually kinda, kinda hurts my eyes right now. Usually, sometimes we'll have sunglasses on when I'm filming videos, but I figured this way you guys can actually see my, my nystagmus, which is the other condition where the eyes involuntarily move back and forth. You know, I think albinism is a really cool thing. I'm not, but you could, argue against that, whatever. You're entitled to your opinion. I think albinism is a pretty, pretty dope thing. Looks cool. Very few of us. And uh, nystagmus, well, I made a whole short film about how cool it is to have my eyes constantly dancing. Check it out, it's called My Dancing Eyes, yeah. How original. Two, in three words, describe your vision. Okay, so if I was to describe my vision, three words. If we're describing what I actually see, okay. Uh, vertigo, uh, overexposure to light, is that two words, three words? I'm gonna count it as one. Light sensitivity with a dash. How about that? The dash in between light. And three, uh, nearsighted. And even being near, things are still moving out of focus and then double vision sometimes. Often. What is the hardest thing to do being blind or visually impaired? The hardest thing about being blind or visually impaired? Okay, I'm relatively a happy guy. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, um, positive about my visual impairment. I don't really let it get me down, but you know, there are some things that are unfortunately the way they are. Driving, I can't really do that, can't really experience that because, well, for your safety and for my own, that's, even those sighted people, let's let's be honest, you guys are, st oh my God, you guys suck at driving, especially here in LA. You guys are awful drivers. Oh my, half the like Uber drivers I have are terrible and you're a professional driver. Kind of, technically. Ugh. Side people shouldn't drive either. Let's just all go automotive. Like, let's just get autonomous cars. Are we are we down yet for that? If you if you're not, well, if you're part of the problem, is you're probably a terrible driver. <laughs> no, but like overall, yeah, there are gonna be some things I'll, I'll miss out on. I won't be able to really do. The worst part about being blind or visually impaired is just the lack of open-mindedness in society, the lack of like understanding or awareness about the spectrum of blindness because I'm not totally blind, but I am not sighted. It's, I'm in that gray area that like, just people who are sighted don't seem to get or understand is a thing. I don't know. It's, it's a thing. Number four. Four. What is the best part about being blind or visually impaired? Oh man, the best parts about being blind or visually impaired? Well, discounts sometimes. Sometimes people are cool and give me free stuff. I'm using my cane at night. That's a common thing because I can't see at night. I can't, you know, I have no death perception. Otherwise I would trip, I would fall, and maybe just find my way into traffic. You know, I'll go into some restaurants, get some dinner, picking out what I want, and, and they'll just be like, it's on us tonight. It's cool. I'm like, I got my card out. I got my, I got my credit card out. I'll have cash. Here's my wallet. No, it's on us. Free food. Take it. All right. You know, life gives you lemons. You eat those lemons because it's free. 
But in all seriousness, honestly, my favorite part about being blind is the fact that it's just giving me such a unique perspective. I feel like, I, like, I don't know what I'd be doing right now if I was, like, born sighted and going to school, getting a 9 to 5. I, I don't know what I'd be doing, right? It makes me wonder, like, would I have actually gone after anything creatively? Would I had, like, any sort of, like, creative perspective or, or passion for the arts? Or I don't know. No, I'm just, I'm just, I, you wonder sometimes, you know? what would have been, but I think I'm in a pretty good position. I think I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm very content with my life right now. Five, what questions do you get asked most about or because of your vision? What questions do I get asked the most? And I've had it worded like this quite a few times. It feels a little arrogant, but when people are just like, what's up with your eyes? And sometimes it's just so blunt and it's just like out of nowhere. Um, in fact, I actually had one of my managers just literally come up to me and, you know, you'd think that they'd inform when I'm hired, you know, we, we had like 14 managers where I worked and, and you'd think that the knowledge would be shared that I'm legally blind and I, I dealt with another manager who was like completely ableist and like discriminatory towards people with disabilities. I wasn't the first case and I wasn't the last case, but I just had one guy who just came up to me, just, we're, we're in the elevator, what's up with your eyes? I'm like, I've been here for months. And he knew like there was a visual impairment, but just the way he worded it was like a stranger wording it. And it was just kind of like, oh, this is not a, doesn't seem like a healthy way to ask. Um, he did kind of clarify afterwards, like, I'm just generally curious because it's like, I don't know what exactly it's called. And you could have just asked like, what's your ocular condition called? Or what's your, what was it that you were born with the meteor eyes the way they are? I mean, I could, I could ask you the same thing. What's up with your eyes? It's kind of foreign. Why are your eyes moving? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Up here. Put your eyes up here. Tomorrow night. Dance off. My eyes versus your eyes. But they can't do this. But they aren't dancing like mine. My eyes are probably gonna whoop your eyes' butts. What would be the butt of an eye? I'm in a weird place right now in my life. Six. Do you have a cane? A guide dog? Or either? Uh, I have a cane right now. Yeah, I'm a cane user at night and sometimes during the day. It Fun, fun fact, I had to be somewhere during the day of the Women's March. I support all that. That was hell that morning. So I had to be somewhere at the train station and I had to walk down the street where there was 200,000 people in downtown Los Angeles coming towards me and uh, there was no accessible way for me to get to where I needed to be. And that, oh my God, I had vertigo for the entire, like my eyes were moving so fast. Bad time to have to work on a Saturday. People got jobs, blind people got jobs. And there was no accessible way for me to get to where I needed to be. And then the trains were all so filled. It took three trains to go by before I was able to get on one, and that was only because some nice lady named Linda, shout out to you, Linda, you're awesome, thank you, I appreciate it, helped me get to the front, and then even when she was trying to help me get be the first on the train, because of my situation, trying to just get to work, there was like a bunch of people just shoving me, moving me, I'm like, I even had my cane out, because I had to use my cane that morning, I could not, like, I had no death perception otherwise. I'm like, what a bunch of assholes. Sorry, excuse my language, I'm usually, I'm usually like very family friendly, but, if you're gonna push someone who's blind just out of the way just so you can get on a train first, you're an ass. Seven, what one piece of advice would you give to someone who is losing, going to lose, or has lost their vision? It's not the end of the world. It's not. Look, I've kind of been where you've been. And maybe it was a little bit easier because thing is, yeah, I was born legally blind, but there was a time when there was like an experimental surgery that they were testing and I, I decided to take it. I decided to try it out and I was about 11 or 12 years old at the time. 12 years old, yeah, 12 years old on to about being 14. I was fully, like not fully excited. I was visually impaired, but just, just like slightly. You know, I was like in the middle of a sports tournament at school. It was a two day tournament. The first day I was winning overnight, something happened. Um, the next morning, my eyes are just not waking up at the same speed that I am. And I'm just like, what's going on? I, my eyes are just, very tired today. Things just don't look the way they should be looking. So I go to the tournament, I do terrible, I'm awful. And, and throughout the week, my eyes just didn't get better. And we went back to the ophthalmologist to see what was going on. And turns out my eyes just overnight went back to being legally blind. And it, it was pretty scary. It was, um, but it was very eye-opening, pun, pun intended. In that moment, I, I, that year, I really wanted to take charge of my vision, to take charge of my own life. And I, I really sought out to like, well, okay, so this is, this is the circumstance of my life. I'm legally blind. I'm not gonna let that define what I'm capable or not capable of doing, right? There are other ways to do things. 
other ways to get from point A to point B, and whether that point A to point B is higher education, whether it was being a filmmaker, whether it was transportation, I was going to figure it out, even if it wasn't the normal way of doing it. There are ways to adapt, there are ways to live your life with a disability. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, there are hardships sometimes, there are, but at the same time, life is worth living. It is, and if you don't think so, then you're in another place right now. A place that I've, I've been, believe me, I've, I've watched my video, it's called Self-Destruction, and it's about how the influence of other people's words and other people's uh, threats and, and, and the way they made me feel made me want to just end it all and try to take it all. I've been there, but I also know that there is so much more to life and that it is worth living. If you are struggling with uh, depression or suicidal thoughts, down below I'm gonna have some resources and they're there to help. I hate to see anyone where I've been before. Not a pretty place to be. Eight, what is one piece of advice you would you give to a sighted person about interacting with the person who is blind or visually impaired? For sighted people, don't assume someone's abilities, don't assume someone's vision because again, like I've said, there's a spectrum. I'm on the spectrum where I am legally blind, but I, I, I am not sighted. Again, if you wanna help someone, if you want to help someone, ask permission and ask how you can best help them because no one knows how best to help someone than themselves, right? No one knows how to interact with someone with their own disability more than them, right? Just ask. and and. Here's the thing, if, if they're nonverbal, if, if they can't hear you, we should all have smartphones, we should all have a pad of paper, some, there should be some way that we can communicate with someone, right? Ask how they would like to communicate, how best you can communicate with them. And that might be the best route from there to take. Nine, why did you join YouTube? Why did I join YouTube? I joined YouTube back in 2006. My channel turned 10 years old, and with that I released my short film, My Dancing Eyes, to sort of celebrate on my 10th anniversary. It wasn't up until around 2015 I really found this niche, which was to share my life as a blind person and to reach out and find a community, because honestly, I, I lacked community. I was like just trying to fit in with sighted people, and it's just like, I got some stuff in common with them, but at the same time, they just don't get it. Name three people to do this tag next. Name three people to do this tag next. All right, Tommy Edison. Do it, go for it. Ben, get him to do this. Kevin Creedon, see you in my videos a lot, know you personally. Um, and lastly, uh, Samantha Coleman. Those are the three people I'm gonna tag. Two of them are YouTubers, they make videos. And uh, Samantha Coleman is an actress who's deaf blind from New York, um, but I encourage her to make a YouTube channel, and uh, now you don't have an excuse. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to do this tag as well, feel free, please. I tag you if you're watching this and you are a VIP. If you're not a VIP, well, that sucks. There's probably like a billion other tags you can do. It sucks that you're not blind, you know? You're not one of us. You're not a VIP. Anyway. Joking aside, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a comment down below, check out the videos that are on my side, and, and be sure to subscribe. I got plenty of content coming. Plenty of content coming. Plenty, plenty. Thank you guys, bye.